Zenith is so pretty to me, y'all. Like, she is such a pretty lady. She carries herself really well. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I'm about to go run some errands, AKA go to Target, maybe go to Starbucks. Y'all know the deal. But I wanted to show y'all my nails really quick before we head out the door. So I got them done yesterday as y'all saw and they came out so good. I'll make sure I populate a picture of the inspo picture and this is just like a French nail on my thumb. But they came out so good so I'm super in love with them. But yeah, gonna go to Target, run a couple errands, and I'll check back in with y'all once we get done with all of that. Y'all, oh, this sounds good. Pumpkin cheesecake. Caramel apple. Ooh, maple shortbread cookies. Child, let me get them over here. Cause I don't need them from over here. Ooh, caramel apple flavored corn. Hmm. And of course, this is what the hubby requested. I don't want a fall smelling scent, but mm, I'll just stick with this, I guess. So y'all, we are over in clothes. Just looking really quick. What's this? Oh, just like fold leather top is kind of cute. Let's scoot down. that crop version I don't see any more though y'all yeah that's it hmm this little bralette would be cute if it was like another I don't know if I like that slinky material but it's cute and there's like the matching skirt that's not bad y'all look at this crop jacket I don't think it's the same brand as that other one but that's cute I just am not like a big crop jacket person but that's cute this one's cute too. Look at these pants, y'all, with these cutouts. Target think they fashion Nova. for the cheapest ring on the nigga finger, little bitch. I done flew one out to Spain to be in my domain, automotive bitch. Dropped three dollars on the rain, cause been the truck, little bitch. Ooh. I was in the trap, serving cocaine, ain't been the same fence. Granted, she was standing right there while I catch play on the brick. Ooh. I made them little niggas go hey while Taliban in this bitch. Hey y'all, good morning. It is Saturday, so I'm about to go run some errands with the hubby. We need to go to Marshall's because I need some more candles, y'all. I don't know what it is, but I burn candles way more in the fall and winter than I do in the spring, summer. I don't know what that's about, but I'm going through my candles really fast, so I do want to pick up some. If they even have what I want, then um, I need to run in Zara and H&M. So the hubby just needs some like more fall clothes. My husband works a lot, so <laughs> his downtime is like minimal. So he doesn't even have as many going out clothes as I do. So um, we definitely need to get him some more because obviously the holidays are coming up. So we need to get him a few pieces. And then I have some stuff to return to H&M. I want to look and see if I can find anything in Zara. I've wanted some like knee high boots. But I don't know y'all, I'm funny about like boots. I typically only wear ankle boots, but I feel like maybe if I found the right fitting, like knee high boots, I would like them. So I just need to go try them on. Like boots is something that I don't like to buy online, like unless it's something, you know, I tried it on at the store, but I needed a size up or something. Other than that, I don't like trying them on. Um, 
online. I mean, buying them online because I don't want to have to return stuff. Y'all know I hate returning stuff. Um, but the stuff from H&M I got pretty much easy return. I need to see if I can find some like leggings. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I don't really have any leggings. So that's why I'm still wearing biking shorts a lot for like errands and stuff. Now I have a million trillion biking shorts, but leggings, I really only have like one or two pairs right now. And really one I just need to throw away they've gotten kind of dingy. So I need to find some leggings as well. So we're gonna see what we can find at the mall. You know, saw my sister a little clip of her from yesterday. So she came in town. I thought I told y'all that, but I guess I didn't. She was coming in town for um, a work conference. So my sister's an entrepreneur. She does nails, nail by Tammy. So if you are in the Nashville area, um, definitely check her out. She's amazing. Y'all know my nails used to hit different when she was doing them. So I highly recommend her. But yeah, she is here for a conference for like motivational speaking and life coaching like she's she's here for some conferences two days so she'll be there during the day and then you know back here with us at night but um tonight we're gonna go to lily so i've been there once y'all saw me go when i first moved here me and brandy yeah i think it'll be a good time moustache last night was a good time we just went there y'all because we did not want to put on no makeup we ain't want to put together no cute outfit. I mean, I looked cute overall, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to put together no cute fit. And I had a cute fit planned because we were supposed to have plans. But based on the time she got here, we adjusted. So the cute outfit I have, I don't know if I want to wear that to Lily's. Like, I kind of feel like I want to save it for something else. So hopefully I can find some leggings at the mall because I'm thinking, like, maybe doing leggings and something more, like, chill tonight just because we're just going for, you know, some food, some drinks, some hookah. But we're not, like, turning up, getting too crazy tonight. So kind of want to save the outfit I was thinking about because it was going to require me to pull out my new Chanel bag, which I haven't worn yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to waste it because if I don't get a picture, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> but, yeah, so um, that's the plan for today. So we're about to run to Marshalls, H&M, Zara, and then um, I'm just going to chill around. My hubby has to work today, so I'm just going to chill around while my sister's at her event. Probably going to watch some movies or something, you know, something chill. And then um, get ready to go out tonight. I think I made the reservation for either 8 or 8.30. I don't know y'all but yeah so i'll probably do a get ready with me and all of that stuff and of course i'm gonna take y'all with me in these stores so we're gonna head out so let's go ahead and do that Hey y'all, so it is much later and I'm about to start getting ready um, because I want to curl my hair. I did my hair this week and it's been like straight all week, but now I'm like, okay, I want like a little bit of curl to it. So I'm going to start getting ready because it's about six. Our reservation is at 845. So with traffic here, child, we'll probably leave out the house by like 815 or a few minutes before to be safe. So my sister is about to get out of her conference soon, but she's already like made up and everything. So I'm the one that got to get myself together. She's got to change her fit. So yeah, so I'm about to do that. So um, I'm using my normal facial cleanser. Uh, I did order the Youth to the People cleanser. I've heard so much about that. So I did order that um, during the VIB sale. Well, it's still going on y'all. So definitely shop that, but um, I did order it. So. I want to see if it's any better you know i've just been using neutrogena for so long and i'm just kind of like i think my skin is just so used to it that now i just want to use something else you know i just want to try something else you know invest a little bit more into my skincare routine 
y'all know I'm super lazy about it so yeah I don't I just need to do a little better so that is my goal to do a little better use a little bit more product and get it together so yeah all right and then of course the usual the Clinique moisturizer um, nothing special this might be another product I need to switch out as well because I've been using it forever <laughs> literally forever so this is my eye cream today so it's just the clinique um all about eyes cream just reduces circles puffs and all of that it took me like a small nap so my face seems a little like puffy right now so just gonna put a little bit of that on and I just like to tap this product in versus rubbing. There we go with that. And then I'm about to grab my um, curling iron, y'all, and get that plugged up. And I'll be right back. All right, so we got the hair all parted. And I did go ahead and use some of my heat protectant. Y'all, everything I'm using, I'll try to link it down below if you're curious. But yeah, we're just going to do some curls. And like I said, I did my hair Tuesday myself this time. So it looks pretty good. I didn't put a ton of product or anything because y'all know how my hair is. I'm trying to see if I'm going to try to do this like wrapping method with my hair and see if that does anything. Oh, no. Um, you yeah. know. Uh, okay no we're not doing that <laughs> um i don't know what it is the wrapping method with with a non wand curler throws me off and i don't got time for that today so we're not even gonna do it yeah no just gonna do some little curls um just like regular curls i'm not gonna pull the whole end through um but yeah just like regular curls nothing crazy I'm just I'm not like a fan of always like wearing my hair straight like that to me on myself I like my hair to be curled if I'm being honest so I'll wear it straight a few days but then it's kind of like after that I want like some more body to it you know because I do have y'all know kind of fine hair not kind of fine here <laughs> and so if I don't curl it it'll be just flat but anywho y'all have you been watching love is blind I never really talked to y'all about shows but I just have to talk about this show so I never really got into this show the first and second season enough like I would watch it a couple episodes but I never like finished it all the way through right like I would just watch enough to kind of see what's going on but I didn't really get into it to the point where you know I had a liking for one couple over the next but for some reason probably because it's fall and you know we just love fall TV so this year I guess I'm just getting into it I don't really know why but I'm getting into it right and so baby first off with this show like I understand like everybody has some type of like physical expectations of what they want someone to look like but if you're going on a show <laughs> like this i'm not saying you should have low expectations like just be expecting the person to look crazy but looks should be so far on the bottom of your list because clearly looks is probably being high on your list and you are still single right so for me because so many of the guys like Bartise and Cole are feeling a way about the women that they chose, like how they look and just feeling a certain kind of way. I'm just like, if y'all were so worried about having a woman look a certain way, you needed to meet a woman the traditional way. Like, I just don't even understand 
why I would go on a show with such like high expectations or just, you know what I'm saying? Just thinking like, yep, they gotta look this way. They gotta have this, gotta have that. Like to me, it's just annoying. Um, as far as the couples now, I don't really feel like, um, like Alexa and Brennan, I like them. I just hope that he can adapt to her lifestyle. So this is very luxurious. You see how she grew up. She grew up in a very nice home to tell her father has a nice coin. So I do feel like it'll just be a situation where, you know, he may not be able to give her all those things. But again, if you're going on this type of show, you just should not have some of the same expectations or this list that you're following. Like that should not be a big deal when you're on this type of show. But that's just my mindset. Obviously everybody think different. But for me, I would be going into it so different because obviously you're, you know, getting engaged to, to someone you never saw. So it's like, yeah, I need to put everything into this emotional connection because, yeah, who cares what they look like? If I'm doing this, who cares? But anywho, um, so they, to me, I'm just a little like nervous that um, that might present an issue. But at the same time, girl, you know, you came on the show, so if you're judging him solely off of that. That'll be a little crazy to me. So we'll see how they pan out. Um, Cole and Zenup. Zenup is so pretty to me, y'all. Like, she is such a pretty lady. She carries herself really well. Um, I feel like <laughs> for her personality, though, she is much better suited for someone that's older. Um, like because to me she can kind of give like with him mom energy and obviously like yeah some men like that right like some men like a woman to remind them of like their mom but I'm wondering if that's why he doesn't see her as so sexy and you know all of that stuff that he feels about Colleen I'm wondering if that's why because she's a little bit older and just the way she carries herself you know but overall she's super gorgeous so girl don't let that man play with you like <laughs> like to me she's kind of let him play in her face a little bit and i'm just over here like girl are you crazy like have you seen yourself like you're so pretty obviously you have your shit together so screw what he's talking about you know so that was my only gripe with um them right like that's my only gripe um yeah y'all this is fine I, I, I don't know why my hair is not really acting right today but it's kind of acting stupid. Then, um, Bartice and Nancy Chow. Bartice, another one. Like, I don't care for him. Um, because again, you've just said some really crazy things to that lady. And she's really been just nothing but, like, super sweet and kind <laughs> to him. And been, like, loving and all of this. And he's just said wild and crazy things to her. And I just feel like this is your fiance get it together so yeah i'm not a big fan of his um who else uh who's the other one uh colleen and matt matt gives me like a little bit like impulsive like i don't know he gives me like like he gives me like he's a fire sign like i'm not sure if he is but his energy gives off fire sign and i know that because my husband is a fire sign and to me fire sign people really can just go from like zero to 100 very quickly and depending on the person it could really escalate and his personality gives me like if she really pushes him it could really escalate into a whole other situation so i don't know about him i would say she need to be careful with him because yeah and then her she's just normal young like to me she's a little bit like she doesn't have anything about herself, like not a real personality, y'all. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm not feeling her like that either. And then Raven and SK, I like SK. He seems so nice, but I think I've seen a lot of people say this and I agree. Like, if you knew you were going to school for this two year program in California, doing this show just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I wouldn't have done this show. Like, you have other goals and things you're trying to accomplish. And not saying that you can't do that while married, but to be coming into the marriage <laughs> with all these like things going on, it's kind of one of them things where it's like, sir, you should have did all of that, then came on the show. Like you should have just declined the offer and moved on, you know? So I don't know if I like that because to me, 
if I'm meeting someone and they're saying, hey, <laughs> you're gonna have to uproot your life. Now, for her, because she's an entrepreneur or whatever, it's not that easy, right? But for someone that's like, oh, they work in the office, they work from home, it might be easy to say to them, hey, well, can you just move uh, to California for two years? But like to go into a marriage and like say, well, yeah, you gotta be, we gotta be long distance for the first two years. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's good. And I mean, to me, the first two years of a marriage, obviously is very foundational. So us living apart for the first two years, is a little bit crazy like obviously there's planes and obviously all that other stuff you can make it work but we're getting to know each other and because of how you all started <laughs> like you got engaged without seeing each other and all of that crap to me that just doesn't seem conducive to like a healthy relationship so let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all thinking about the show i don't really talk about shows a lot but obviously i watch a ton of tv like the next person so <laughs> I be having stuff on my mind, but I just don't always get to bringing it up. But yeah, the show's good. I just can't wait to see how this all ends. I can't wait to see who says yes and all of that. Um, the only people, like I said, that I'm just really like, oh, I want to see is Alexa and Brennan. But like I said, if it's going to be an issue for her with his finances or if he can't do all the same things that her dad can do, if that's gonna be an issue, like she really needs to let that man go because this, he's a good guy, you can tell. And I feel like there's a woman out there that will really love him and you know, accept him as is and push him, but not make him feel like, well, if you can't buy designer this or put me in a penthouse, you're not good enough. So hopefully they work out. They're the only ones I really have any faith in. Um, Colleen and Matt, I just don't care what they do. Like, I just don't care. His personality, like I said, the whole, like, <laughs> zero to 100. And to me, the whole breakdown of her, like, going out with friends. Sir, no. And then, um, the thing at the, like, little, uh, getaway or whatever. Like, the whole thing he's been having. Like, yeah, I'm not a fan. But, overall, cool show. Um, I just feel like... This is a show that shouldn't go on for so many seasons. Like, I feel like once you do this show a couple seasons, that should just be the end of it. Like, y'all done the experiment. It's kind of over now. <laughs> like, because y'all are not having as much, much success at this point, it's like, does this show need to just come to an end and y'all do something different? I'm not sure, but that was what I was thinking. Like, is a show like this gonna last forever or is this a show that you do like you know two three good seasons and then you say okay this is all we can get from this show let's try to do something else um i also been seeing a lot of people on tiktok say they really want to see um different hosts a lot of people were saying they kind of wanted to see Lauren and cam and because obviously they've had success from the show but i don't really care about the host just because they don't really be on there like that so host I mean, it's really up to them. Nick and um, Vanessa, they cool, but um, if I could get a different host, maybe that would make a difference. But I feel like the host, they don't be doing that much or nothing to where it's like, oh my God, we have to get a new host. I don't feel like it's that serious either way, but um, it might make a difference in the show. Um, maybe, like I said, them coming on and doing some like helping the couples get accustomed to the, you know, the way that their life is about to be and all of that, maybe they could do something like that. But them coming on to host the show, I don't really care if they do that or not. So, yeah. But yeah, y'all, so pretty much almost done curling my hair. I'm gonna finish this up and then come back on once I started like doing my makeup and stuff. So I'll be back. I'm sleeping with 
Now y'all, I was definitely supposed to do my makeup with y'all. Y'all probably saw like five seconds of me doing my makeup because I was on the phone with my homegirl and the conversation was just too good so I had to keep talking so I just cut the camera off so um, that footage is probably super short. But yeah, my hair looks pretty good. And then I'm just wearing this green seamless crop top. Y'all know I love these from Zara. I got every color. Well, almost every color. It's like two colors I'm missing. But I just love these. And then I just have on some leggings and then my faux leather jacket because I know it's like kind of cooler. At least I think it is. What is it outside? Yeah, it's 59. So it's definitely a little cooler. Um, and then I'm going to do for fragrance tonight, I'm going to do Gentle Fluidity Gold. Um, I'm working my way down on this bottle. Maybe I should do Baccarat. Hmm. No, I'm gonna do this tonight. I want something like warm since it's a little cool. Uh, what's the low? Yeah, the low 51. Wait, where is this rain coming from? Oh, not until early in the morning. Okay, I'm about to say like, uh, I hate going out in the rain. But um, I'm probably gonna make me a little drink to sip on. I'm waiting on my sister to get back and we're gonna head out. We're changing the plans. We're not gonna go to Lily's because her um, conference went over a little bit, so we're not gonna make it in time. So we're just gonna go to either regular blue or blue martini. I'm gonna look at their Instagram to see which one look packed, because if it's packed, probably gonna get a table, so just forget it. But yeah, everything looks cute. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably, I might take out in the kitchen with me to make a drink, so yeah, let's just do that right quick. All right, so we're about to take a shot, y'all. No, so I'm cheers gonna, to a good I'm night. Gonna do a little dab of juice. Cheers to a good <laughs> night. I took that one like a D, y'all. Yeah, my little yeah, juice. Yeah, that little dab of juice help. <laughs> they help get it down. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that warmed me up. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah no hopefully we're gonna try to go to blue y'all hopefully they're seating because they have this i cannot think of the name of the drink it's like passion something it's so damn good so i want that <laughs> so hopefully they have seating and i know their food is good <laughs> yeah because i'm hungry are you not starving? I don't want that one. banana because woo child. Wait, they didn't serve no lunch. No, they did, but, oh, but not it was a while lunch. before we ate. Yeah. I mean, whoo child. Mm -mm. I'm glad I had that banana and that coffee. Yeah, no. Um, <sighs> you know, we had kava for lunch. And, and the food was real light. Like, it was no bread involved. Oh, Which okay. I was happy about. Okay, yeah. So I'm like, I'll eat me some pretty decent lunch. Yeah, your makeup held up. You know, I'm about 12 well, I just, hours. No, I just... To, I, just, I mean, yeah, yeah but it still like look good. Yeah, it still look good you. though. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, y'all. We're about to get ready to head out. The lift should be here in a minute. Catch y'all at the restaurant.
so y'all we are back home and i'm about to close out this vlog because i want to finish editing tonight so y'all can get this tomorrow morning so thank you so much for watching and supporting me please don't forget to like this video comment subscribe and share with your family and friends and i'll see you all in the next one